What's happening everybody? Trey here joined by my dad Sean and today at Reactions to the Classics we got a bit of a unique uh, song battle here today. A little UK music comedy battle today coming courtesy of our uh, our guy, our patron and a friend of the channel Dan. Dan, looking forward to this as I am, uh, yeah. you know, not not aware of a lot of uh, the UK comedy scene, man. And, uh, exactly. <laughs> so uh, looking forward to it. We're going to be doing Spitting Image at We're Scared of Bob and then Bill Bailey at We Are Most Amused, which is a, a, a gala event held in 2008 in honor of Prince Charles's 60th birthday. And uh, we'll even be able to kind of peek Prince Charles at one point in this video. Yeah, well, let's, let's jump into it. Uh, before we start, even before we get there, guys, the video will most likely not be up because it'll probably get blocked but hopefully it's not but look at the link below and you can watch the whole thing with us and dan gave us a little info on spitting image he said there's a puppet show and the puppets intentionally have huge facial features and can sometimes look grotesque for comedic purposes all right it's uh short and sweet and to the point man so uh it's only two and a half minutes so I don't know what to expect, but puppets, let's see what we got. All right, spitting image coming in, man. What a uh, what a production for puppets. Obviously, uh, spoofing the, the We Are the World video. Yes, and we're scared of Bob's because Bob Geldof did Do They Know It's Christmas before the We Are the World project. So okay. I guess I was given the, you know, uh, Bob Geldof, of course, of the Boomtown Rats and, you know, was in the Pink Floyd movie for The Wall and... That's about all I know about Bob. You in the UK will know more, but uh, that that's what the shout out is there. You know, it's interesting. I could identify basically every puppet, I think. Dude. It took me a second to spot out Springsteen. Dude, though, yeah. Well, Springsteen might have been my favorite. Just, yeah. Oh, because he was just he's banging We on love us. Springsteen here. We do. It, we it, love him, man. He's he, right behind us, actually. He is a, a funny guy to sometimes spoof yeah. with his over the top sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's great, man. So, uh, you know, that's easy to spoof. We, we did my, my man Bob Dylan wrong with the big nose, man. My God. Goodness, man. I wanted to see him come back, man. I was like, he looked like a cross between Dylan and Howard Stern. Dude, and then you had Bowie up in there, Prince, uh, MJ, Tina Turner. Bette uh, Midler. Yeah, Bette Midler with the oversized uh, lips and whatnot. It was... Mick? It, Mick was in here. He's getting elbowed a couple times, man. I, I thought it was a pretty clever and, uh, you know, kind of funny... Uh, Funny production and, and way to way to spoof it up, you know. Yeah, no joke. Way man. way to spoof it up. Uh, I've never even heard of a you know spitting image, but obviously if I'm here in the states, uh, I you know probably not gonna got not gonna be too familiar with it. But uh, yeah, man, uh, impressive. And now we're gonna go to Bill Bailey's uh, masterpiece here, man. And uh, uh, again, not not familiar with uh, Bill Bailey at no, all. No, just a little background on him. He's an English comedian, actor, singer, musician, known for his role as Manny in the sitcom Black Books and his appearances on the panel shows Never Mind the Buzzcocks, Have I Got News for You, and I think that's QI, as well as for his stand-up comedy work, plays a variety of musical instruments, mm. and incorporates music into his performances, and it's got voted on several favorites list so uh oh, i don't know cool. what to expect here but it's about five and a half minutes long so let's check it out all right bill bailey's masterpiece man i gotta admit that a lot of funny moments in that there was a lot of funny moments in that really enjoyed it wasn't lost on us as you know you sometimes wonder as americans are we going to lose references but uh we did, and that was a really well chosen clip by Dan. Yeah, I think my uh, my my favorite portion was maybe the the Pink Panther theme coming in. Uh, that was good. That that was a uh, pretty funny, and then just you know taking a stab at the uh, national anthems of those Eastern European, which is true in the Olympics. You always hear these like crazy. Oh, you do, man! With the wild flags, you've never seen. Not reflective of the country <laughs> and the, the style of life there whatsoever. I think it's interesting too. He uses the keyboard because it kind of gives you, I would think, as a comedian, somewhat of a uh, safety blanket almost you can kind of go back there and, oh, and mess with that yeah. and it kind of helps shape your act but he had, he had prince charles laughing up there so oh he did man that was the whole idea i, I thought the the crematorium thing was a uh, pretty uh pretty comical as well playing the uh playing the organ like yeah, yeah you never think of that well how do i end this <laughs> Type very in, true know. um and you know just uh obviously very you know natural charisma up there uh and he kind of reminded me here in the states one of my favorite comedians is a bo burnham and he incorporates a lot of uh, music kind of okay. in, into his stuff and uh, he's actually coming out with a, a special soon here as well which i'll keep an eye on but uh you know very impressive to be able to you know most people have hard enough time going up doing the comedy just by themselves 
and then incorporate. That's what I thought. Oh, I got to be able to play this. I thought the jazz bit was a bit. Uh, it, was, it was. It was very good too, man. Bit, bit comical. Those, those are my favorite moments, man. Like Agreed. you said, if you got Prince Charles, uh, you know, laughing it up, you're you're doing something right. And I guess that'll take us now to our winner of this uh, UK bat. I enjoyed them both, man. Me I, too. I, I really did. Um, you know, the the spitting image. We're scared of Bob. Uh, you know, was obviously a bit more grand in the production. I was gonna was, say very impressive, just trying to get all of that stuff navigating get people who sound similar and you know obviously making the pot like that that was very impressive and on the other hand bill's up there just carrying it Dude. for almost six minutes on his own in yeah. front of a uh, a very pressure-packed audience yeah so but for that reason man uh I, I think i'm gonna go bill bailey at we are most amused just just by a little bit uh i laughed a, a little little bit more at, at that so i guess that's how i'm gonna judge this this comedy battle <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go with that as well i think it is definitely close and i'm glad i got to see spitting image and look for yeah. some more of their stuff of what else they kind of <laughs> do some satire on because that was really uh really impressive but Thank you, Dan, for uh, Dude, yeah. bringing these Americans some uh, different kind of entertainment. We really appreciate oh, it. A hundred percent, of course. Let us know down below, y'all, yeah. which of these uh, you you found uh, to win the the battle, so to speak. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, y'all. Happy listening, and we will see ya.